Witness the enchanting dance of a rosebud as it unfurls its petals, blossoming into a full bloom. In this dance, there's a secret, a magic that transforms a tiny bud into a radiant rose. It's a journey, an art, a science that goes beyond just planting and watering. It's about understanding the language of roses, their needs, their dreams. Ready to unravel the secrets of growing such stunning roses? Then journey with us as we delve into the world of rose gardening. The first secret to beautiful roses lies in the choice. Yes, selecting the right variety is the cornerstone. Now let's dive into the world of roses. Imagine a spectrum, a kaleidoscope of colors, sizes, and fragrances. That's the diversity roses bring to your garden. From the classic elegance of hybrid teas to the old-world charm of heirloom roses, the rose universe is vast and vibrant. Hybrid teas with their long stems and large single blooms are the epitome of a classic rose. They're perfect for those after a touch of elegance and sophistication, but they do demand a little more care and attention so keep that in mind. If you're after a more low-maintenance option, consider shrub roses. These hardy plants offer a bounty of blooms and can withstand a range of climates. They're perfect for those who want a rose garden but have a hectic schedule. For a touch of history, heirloom roses might be just the ticket. These old-world roses with their unique shapes and intoxicating fragrances can transport you back in time. But remember, they can be a bit fussy about their conditions, so they'll need your tender care. Climbing roses can add a fairy tale touch to your garden with their ability to scale walls and fences. They can transform any space into a romantic haven. Now you're probably wondering, how do I choose the right one? Well it all comes down to your garden's conditions and your personal preferences. Consider your climate. Some roses thrive in warmer climates while others prefer the cool. Think about your soil. Is it sandy, clay, or loamy? Each type of rose has its preferences. And don't forget about your own tastes. Are you drawn to a particular color or fragrance? Do you prefer the classic rose shape or something more unique? Remember your garden is an extension of you, so take a moment. Picture your perfect rose garden. What do you see? Use that vision to guide your choice. Remember, the right choice is half the battle won in the quest for blooming roses. Now that you've chosen your rose, it's time to prepare the perfect bed for it to flourish. The journey to vibrant blooming roses begins beneath the surface, in the unseen world of the soil. This isn't just dirt we're talking about, it's a living, breathing ecosystem that provides the foundation for your roses to thrive. Let's start with the basics, the pH level. Roses prefer a slightly acidic to neutral soil, with a pH between 6 and 7. Test kits are readily available and simple to use. If your soil is too acidic, adding lime can help to balance it. Conversely, if it's too alkaline, try incorporating sulfur or organic matter like compost. Speaking of organic matter, it's the unsung hero of the gardening world. It enriches the soil, encourages beneficial microorganisms and worms, and improves the soil structure. Compost, well-rotted manure, or leaf mold are excellent choices. Aim to mix in about a third of organic matter to two-thirds of your existing soil. Good drainage is another crucial factor. Roses don't like wet feet. They need soil that retains enough moisture to keep them hydrated, but drains well enough to avoid water logging. If your soil is heavy clay, consider adding coarse sand or grit to improve drainage. Alternatively, if it's sandy and struggles to retain moisture, organic matter can help here too. Remember you're not just planting a rose, you're creating a home for it to grow, bloom and bring beauty into your world. The effort you put into preparing the soil will pay dividends in the form of healthier plants and more abundant blooms. One last tip before we wrap up. It's a good idea to prepare the soil a few weeks before you plan to plant. This gives the soil time to settle and the organic matter to start breaking down, providing a welcoming environment for your roses. With the perfect bed prepared, your roses are ready to thrive. Now you're one step closer to a garden filled with blooming, beautiful roses. Caring for your roses involves two crucial steps, pruning and watering. Pruning may seem daunting but it's quite simple once you get the hang of it. It's all about timing and technique. Pruning is best done in early spring, just as the buds start to swell. You'll want to remove any dead or damaged wood first, cutting back to healthy tissue. Then, focus on shaping the bush, removing any branches that cross over one another or grow inward. Aim for an open vase-like shape to promote good air circulation. Now, how about the cutting technique? Always make your cuts at a 45-degree angle, about a quarter inch above an outward-facing bud. This encourages new growth to spread outwards, creating a well-shaped plant. Watering, on the other hand, is an art in itself. Roses love water, it's what keeps them plump and vibrant. But like all good things, moderation is key. 
Overwatering can cause root rot, which is as nasty as it sounds. So how much is enough? Well, a general rule of thumb is to water deeply but infrequently. This encourages the roots to grow deep into the soil, making the plant more drought tolerant. The best time to water is early in the morning, allowing the water to soak in before the heat of the day evaporates it. And remember it's better to water the soil not the leaves. Wet leaves can encourage disease, so aim your hose or watering can at the base of the plant. Consider investing in a soaker hose or drip irrigation system. These water-saving devices deliver water directly to the root zone, reducing evaporation and water waste, not to mention saving you a lot of time. Master these techniques and you're one step closer to beautiful blooms. The final hurdles in your rose gardening journey involve pest control and ensuring your roses bloom. Let's talk pests first. Roses can be a feast for a variety of insects. Aphids, beetles, and spider mites are just a few of the unwelcome guests that might drop by. But don't fret. There are ways to keep these pests at bay. A popular choice is using insecticidal soaps and oils. These are ready to spray solutions that can be directly applied to the affected areas. They are gentle on the roses, but tough on the pests. For a more organic approach, consider introducing beneficial insects into your garden. Ladybugs and lacewings are natural predators of aphids and can help maintain a healthy balance in your garden ecosystem. Now let's ensure those blooms. A common mistake is over or under watering. Roses love water, but too much can cause root rot, while too little can lead to dehydration. The key is to keep the soil consistently moist. A good rule of thumb is to water deeply twice a week. Remember, it's better to water thoroughly less often than to lightly sprinkle every day. Another crucial aspect is sunlight. Roses need at least six hours of direct sunlight each day, less than this and they may not bloom as well, so be sure to plant your roses where they'll get plenty of sun. Lastly, consider the use of a high phosphorus fertilizer. Phosphorus promotes bloom development so a fertilizer high in this nutrient can give your roses the extra boost they need to bloom beautifully. Apply it in early spring when the leaf buds begin to swell and again after the first big bloom. Growing roses may seem like a challenge, but with the right knowledge and a little patience you can cultivate a garden full of blooming beauties. With these secrets you're now equipped to grow stunning roses. Growing beautiful roses isn't just about the beauty they add to your garden, it's about the joy they bring to your life. We've journeyed together through the world of roses, unraveling secrets and unlocking techniques that can transform your garden into a paradise of blooming roses. We've discovered how to choose the right rose, understanding that each variety carries its own charm and needs. We've dug into the heart of soil preparation, learning that the perfect blend of nutrients can lay the groundwork for a healthy rose bush. We've explored the art of pruning and watering, realizing that it's not just about cutting and pouring water, but about nurturing and understanding the needs of our roses. We've delved into pest control and blooming assurance recognizing that a little vigilance and care can keep our roses safe and ensure they bloom in all their glory. But remember, the secret to blooming beautiful roses doesn't lie in just one of these aspects, it's the harmony of all these elements that brings about the magic. So I encourage you, apply these tips, let your hands get dirty, let your garden feel your care, and let your roses bloom. Ready to grow some stunning roses? Then subscribe for more gardening secrets and tips. Let the beauty of roses fill your garden and your life.